Corn distillers grains can be highly beneficial in formulating cost-efficient rations for high-producing dairy cows. However, with DDGS from 2016 corn, greater care needs to be taken to ensure that dairy rations remain profitable. Rapid expansion of ethanol production capacity has resulted in 36% of corn being used for ethanol and DDGS production in the US today. This has led to over 7% of corn being displaced by corn DDGS and livestock rations. The substantial increase in the availability of corn distillers grains has also increased the interest in using these feeds in dairy cattle rations. Today, corn DDGS is found in around 46% of US dairy cow rations. Distillers grains is primarily considered to be a supplemental source of crude protein, especially rumen and degradable protein. The energy concentration of DDGS is equal to or greater than the concentration of corn. However, rather than coming from starch, the energy in corn DDGS is provided by fat digestible fiber and crude protein. This may positively affect the rumen environment and reduce the incidence of acidosis. With current prices, feeding DDGS to dairy cows is a viable option for dairy farmers to provide supplemental rumen and degradable protein and energy to dairy cows with equal or improved milk production. Some studies have shown that replacing concentrate with corn DDGS led to significantly increased milk yields, energy corrected milk and improved feed efficiency in dairy cows. As a general conversion rule, the nutrient composition of corn DDGS will be roughly three times as concentrated as it is in corn grain. However, this also means that if mycotoxins were present in the corn, the mycotoxin concentration in corn DDGS will be three times as high compared to corn. Symptoms in response to higher levels of mycotoxins in the diet include a reduction in milk component yields, reduced feed intake and feed efficiency, and higher milk somatic cell counts. A U.S. mycotoxin survey on corn DDGS samples from 2016 corn revealed that the average level of dawn in corn DDGS was 2.68 ppm. This is at a level that has been shown to negatively affect high-producing dairy cows, especially if other mycotoxins are also present. How should you manage the 2016 challenge in corn DDGS? It makes sense to know the mycotoxin levels in the corn DDGS you are feeding. Use approved analytical procedures to get accurate results for Don, Ziralinone and Aflatoxin levels. Don't exceed 10% corn DDGS of dry matter in the diet if a significant mycotoxin challenge is present. Ask your trusted nutritionist for advice on feed solutions to counteract the negative effects of mycotoxins on dairy cows.